Hello all the crazy people out there, my name is Dragonite, welcome back to Golden Sun The Lost Age. Last time, we entered Aqua Rock, we also talked to the village of... I forget what it was called actually. Uh, why are you leaning? Do I need to like use Pound on you to knock you over? I just now noticed that. And uh, that, that is where we, we went to gain access to these here Aqua Islands. And I'm realizing that probably... Um, the place that I fell down to get here is probably a bit of a one-way um, one passage, and if I want to be able to get back to the earlier parts of this dungeon, I'm going to need to uh, make use of the, uh, the drop-down that I made available to myself earlier. Um, it, was, it was farther up. Okay, uh, it was not this one. Perfect. The one over here, um, with the... Uh, the thing blocking it. Anyway, I can probably probably just drop down here, right? Go all the way back to the beginning. Oh, there's a cave. Hello, cave. Um, I I have not been in here. I can I can get a little bit wet, soaking wet by. Um, oh, okay. So there is a. Looks like this is the end of the line. I can get soaking wet by checking under the waterfall like a good gamer, but um. Doesn't seem that there's anything else uh, that I can do in here because it looks like whatever whatever I do, I'll have to lower the water level so that I can climb down, get that treasure chest, which is probably a, minim a mimic, mimic, because it's just sitting there, and then climb up and advance farther into here. Anyway, uh, you know what I could also use though is healing, and I just decided to heal using nuts that time because as it uh, as it turns out, I've got quite a few of those at this point. And I'm actually getting close to the point where 200 HP is like at least a decent chunk of my healing, of my health. But anyway, I feel like there is something significant that should have happened when I activated that one water stone. Uh, for example, this guy here that's teetering on the edge. Can I push you? Can I like... use pound? Bonk? No? Is there anything I can do to make to make you, like, fall. No, too heavy. This is, a. Uh, this is bamboozling me. Uh, reveal. Will that reveal anything? No, not really. So, I guess I'll have to just come back here later. Um, use, make, make use of my theory that I'm not really supposed to do anything major here until Kraden takes over and, like, tells me that I'm supposed to be doing something major, so... Let's see. Down here, uh, northern Antarctica, I think it's going to be my next destination. I'm probably going to have to sail for a while before I uh, before I arrive here because we've. Um, I mean, it's pretty far south. We were uh, pretty much in the middle of the lap, in the middle of the map, latitude-wise, and now we're going to be sailing to the bottom of the map. Let's see. Yeah, we've. Uh, we're not even halfway there. This is eastern Australia. Will be. I'm probably gonna go here next, just because it's like the closest place. Uh, if I can find a spot to land, there's a spot to land. I'll I'll land there after I visit northern Antarctica. Um, yeah, let's just follow this coast all the way. The color of the water is really pretty too, and it looks like it's not obviously tiled in any way. Well, that's not the right words, is it? It's obviously tiled. But the way that the shallow water meets the medium water meets the deep water is not, like, it, it looks like a smooth transition. It doesn't look like just tiles. So, they did a good job covering that up. Hello! Okay, I see... I, I can definitely land here. Uh, there's a beach here. I see a house. Um, yeah, it does look really pretty. That's what I was just saying. But I see a house over here. Uh, this probably is not going to be a town, but this is east... Uh, Tundaria Islet? Is that what that said? East Tundaria Islet. Alright, sir. Um, I don't need any resurrection right now. Yeah, no. How about, how about now? If I talk to you from behind, uh, I'm here to tend to any travelers who come to this place. Are you now? Penguins. I like penguins. My mom says there's a strange tower on the northern cape of Tundaria. Is there now? Okay. Pen Pen. Um, I should probably bring back Mind Read. Uh, how about move? We get rid of move? No. 
Uh, Shiba is the one who has mind read. Read the penguin's mind. Uh, my darling Pengulina hurt her leg on the far shore and can't swim back. Somebody please help her. Okay. Can I... Is that a thing I can do? Can I follow these icebergs? I can. Oh, now, now we've got moving jumpy puzzles, huh? This is really going to be a test of my patience. And they, they move too fast for me to be able to, like... Okay, so that, that was a, that's a dead end. All right, we're gonna go this way. They move too fast to be able to get more than one jump off at a time too. All right, anyway, we're, uh, we've made it. There's a Psy crystal down there and I, I can't, apparently. <sighs> Can I get creative? Can I use Lash on you? Can I like smash these tiny stones? That sure would make my job easy. No. Come on, game. Stop teasing me. Oh, wait, okay, I see. Nope, that's... That's a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, and we have a drop down, that's convenient. Hello, Pangolina. Wait, really? That... That doesn't seem very nice. Alright, firstly... Wait. All right, we're gonna get a synergy stone. And I didn't really need that for the synergy, but I needed that to get it out of the way. Because apparently I can't just use push on you? Apparently I can't just use push on you, but I can manually push you across this log. And we can do the Super Mario 64 Penguin mission. Thank you for saving my sweet Pangolina. Allow me to give you this in return for your help. Uh, that is a pretty stone. I don't know what that could possibly be do be be used for. Um, it just says a shining stone. Let's give that to someone who's got more space in their inventory. Because um, I like to not have everybody's inventory space all full up. Interesting. Alright, what's cooking? Uh, it used to be you could sell to the other side of Gondawan by skirting the curse of Tundaria. Uh, now the whole area's got these rocky spires, you can't just work a boat around them. Yeah. Is that new? Is that our fault too? Oops, mind read. Uh, Tundaria is in the southernmost co continent of Weir, and I hear that if you head east far enough, there's an incredible waterfall at the edge of the eastern sea. It sounds like Hoken to me. Alright, well, we were there not too long ago, actually. Uh, you must be cold dressed in those clothes. Come warm yourselves up with a fire. Yeah, uh, tell me what's in your stove, because I haven't seen... I haven't seen anything cooking for a while now. The game has been, uh, the game has been holding out on me. There's fish I've never seen before gently shimmering here, simmering here. I wonder what this foul soup could possibly taste like. I'm not sure I want to find out. All right, well, that's a disappointment. Of course, the, uh, closer you get to the poles. Oh my god, now they're, now they're running around in circles. That's amazing. Pen pen. Um, now that, <laughs> perfect. Yes, that made it worth coming here. Let's, uh, let's get a move on. The closer you get to the, uh, to the poles, the less tasty the food gets. Because, uh, all the, all the interesting spices grow close to the equator, because that's where they need to do the little biological warfare to, uh, you know, fight the microbes that would decompose the plants that produce them. Okay, but let's just see. It doesn't look like there's anything, anything out this way. Like, if you look on the map, it, it looks like there's just the bottom of the the bottom of the continent and then the eastern sea here and it doesn't look like there's anything of interest but um there's a part of me that just wonders if I'll run into like a genie or something um if I if I poke around in the uh in the eastern sea in just the right places doesn't seem like it let's see yeah okay so let's go to what to I keep calling it western australia let's go to eastern australia um if I can uh, if I can find a town in Eastern Australia, that would be welcome because I, um, well, I guess I don't really need healing. I was just here. Uh, I don't really need healing. I don't really need to upgrade my equipment because I've been doing that and I haven't really started fighting anything new, but it's just, um, a town would feel welcome, you know? I don't know, maybe end the video if I've done enough exploring, but we can get off here 
Uh, let me have a look at the map. Again, not to incessantly be checking the map, but I do want to make sure that I am where I think I am. Okay. And uh, other, other possibilities include... Is this... Uh, okay, so this would be right next to Garo, because we couldn't get... We couldn't get through these mountains by, uh, by the desert there. Okay, I know where I am. Uh, as always, there is, uh, there is the possibility of finding Genie. Here, there, and everywhere. Um, could probably be using a, uh, could be using one of those feathers to cut down on the random encounters, because we're not fighting anything interesting here. But, I don't know, I'm still getting... I'm still getting enough experience from fighting things that I feel like it's worth keeping keeping the random encounters on so that uh, I can uh, I can stay strong enough whenever I fight another boss because the bosses have tended to be a little bit more hard hitting out of the gate than uh, than I expect them to be that um what was that that one squid thing I believe was the last boss I fought and it it hurt a little so if I if I have the opportunity to collect a few hundred experience points here and there I'm not not gonna say no. But it doesn't look like there's anywhere I can go in here, so I'm gonna probably sail northward a little bit and see if I can find another beach. Alright. Is there, um... You can't really see the towns marked on the map until you find them, can you? Because I don't think... Like, they appear like the yellow spots, the towns and the dungeons appear as the yellow spots, but... Uh, before you explore the area, there's no, like, indication that there is... Um... Is there, is there like a zoom in button? Hang on. Uh, there's not a zoom in button, but if you hit the select button, there is a zoom out button, which I guess is interesting, because you can see the whole thing at once. Hmm. Alright, well, moving on. Let us make our way up here, and... Alright, jumping out onto land. Uh, this would be, what, approximately where, like, Sydney is in, in real life, this, uh, eastern bit of Australia. Oh, hello. Oh, that's the boat. All right, I was gonna say there is a uh, there's a blue thing, uh, but that was just the boat, not not a town or a dungeon or anything like that. Okay, well there's path here, and usually when I find path like this, that's an indication that um, at the other end of it we're gonna find. I would say plot, but I uh, I don't think we're gonna be finding plot at the end of this one. There's a town at least. All right, new town. I uh, could use a little bit of healing. Yellum. That town rings a bell. Was there something important in Yalem? Uh, our master boatsman, Yep, died. Now all we have to remember him are songs he wrote. Uh, that's unfortunate. Wait, let me let me re-equip uh, Mind Read, because we're back in- Oh, it's already on R. We're back in town. Uh, singing with Yep and all the children in the village helped us remember the songs. It's funny how we all memorized every one of Yep's songs. Is that name supposed to be a pun or something? The music is a little sad. Uh, yep, for all of his children's songs when he was out here in his own private space. Alright, so... Everyone's gonna be, um... Talking about Yep for a little while, I see. Uh, the story is that all of these objects around here were brought here by Yep long ago. If you look around, you'll see that everything was arranged in accordance with the songs. That's... weird. Um... Okay, so everyone's really uh, in, the, in the middle of the grieving process. Um, there's a game that goes along with the song, but it's tough. I want to play something else. Okay. Uh, this is where the kids are hanging out. What have you got to say? Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to go to the stars, if you want to go to the stars, go north past the twins, passing the two swirls, run, uh... Diesel? Not like diesel the gasoline, but run twice around the trunk. Haste without waste, head to the east, uh, pay, pass through to the north. Uh, there, run around thrice and wait for the waves. When they stop, run north to go to the stars. I'm not picking up on any melody here, I have to say. Maybe it sounds better in Japanese or something. If you race full of folly and take the wrong way, you'll find yourself a watery grave. Alright, that almost rhymes. Um, not really, but... If you go, want to go to the moon? Alright, it looks like we're going to continue. Um, something tells me that this is just like a long and silly way of yep to keep the kids out of trouble for a few minutes. Um, we're going to the moon. Well, I guess this is what that one kid meant by like all the 
things being arra arranged in accordance with Yep's songs. Because we're like pretending the different tree trunks and tree stumps are like the moon and whatever. Um, you guys really are entertained by the silliest things. Oh, there's a, there's a couple of rocks arranged like a sun up there, I guess. That's it. That's all the games. Alright, if you want to play some more, just give me a holler. The things that people did before they invented video games. But anyway... Uh, Yelm doesn't get many visitors, hasn't for a long time. I'd love to know a little about what's going on in the outside world. I did it again. I meant to use Mind Read. I usually have Mind Read on left, not on right. Anyway, Yep was the one who visited the lands beyond East and Ocenia. Since he died, we've had no news from the outside world at all. Alright, so at least our... The news of our messing things up by blowing up Mount Aleph hasn't reached here, at least. Um, if Yep were alive today, our village would be thriving. He brought us lots of work. Uh, the pearls yet brought back from the sea were the most marvelous things I'd ever seen. If he were still with us, the island wouldn't be in this terrible fix. Alright, what terrible fix? Explain yourselves. There used to be a lot of pearl divers here in Yalom. I used to do some diving myself. Yep, they were all younger than me, but I still gave them a good run for their money. Um... Okay, so... Yep is our, our favorite person ever in this, uh... In this town, or was, I guess. Um... Never told us where he found his bag his bag of pearls. Bag of pearls? Somewhere near the center of the Eastern Sea. Okay, so that that rings a bell. That tells me something. I feel like I um I feel like that's a hint for something that I've gotta do eventually. Anyway. Uh the only thing he could teach me was how to sail and how to sing. Uh Yep always sang such wonderful children's songs whenever he played with them. Interesting. Let us this is a fairly large town. There's a lot of um Blacksmith Sunshine makes these kinds of items you can't find anywhere else. Okay, Blacksmith. Um, is that what I have to bring the Rusty Mace to, or the Rusty Wand, or whatever it is? He's an amazing worker. Uh, Sunshine's a little eccentric. He disappears into the ta uh, Taopo Swamp for days at a time. So is he gone now? Uh, Sunshine has started complaining that he can't work lately. He blames it on the lack of the rain. Alright. What kind of person only wants to work when it's raining? I know Sunshine likes to enjoy his days off, but he needs to find a better excuse not to work. So, there's a side quest in there. Gotta make it rain again, apparently. I don't know if that's gonna be related to Aqua Rock or not. Anyway, um... I guess the lack of rain is the problem that has befallen this town that someone mentioned a little while ago. Let's see... Alright, that appears to be all that I can do in there. I've upgraded a few things. Um, this is just the, uh, the item salesman, yeah? Yeah. Uh, probably not really anything I'm interested in buying in there. Alright. Um, this is a big town. I don't think some of the other towns are this big, quite. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, making something special. Uh, you went to get some raw materials. Wait, what? Um, what materials? Uh, do I have to give you the fungus? Uh, that's not it. Um, what other food related? I don't think the shining stone is gonna be it. I don't think the gauntlets are gonna be it. Can I give you a nut? No soul. I don't think I have any other food related items. Interesting. Um, Sunshine would be rich if he worked more. What a waste. So, we're, uh... I did it again. We're still on the subject of the blacksmith. Is this, is this the blacksmith shop? If he says he's not gonna work, then he's not gonna work. Uh, that's not gonna work right now, but I'm making some basic things for the villagers. Maybe someday I'll be able to smith unique weapons like my dad. That's why I keep practicing. Okay, so at least someone's picking up the mantle. Uh, he's a true artist. So what if he gets a little temperamental from time to time? By the way, I didn't read your mind. Are you Sunshine? It's not raining, I can't go into Taopo Swamp. And if I can't go into Taopo, then I can't get the stuff I need to work, and there's no... Oh wait, um, you're not talking about food. Uh, you are talking about... Wait, wait, wait. I thought you were talking about food. Yes, okay. Didn't put it together that you were the blacksmith. Hello?
Should I just come back later? I guess I should come back later? Do I have to do whatever mission that is with the Teopa Swamp or something? Just wait. Okay, I guess so. Interesting. Um, where have I, um, where have I not explored yet? I don't think I've been down here. Alright, I, I did talk to you, actually. This is probably the Sanctum, right? Alright, Sanctum. No, 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 no. Don't need anything. Uh, I should probably heal at the end, though, if I find it. I, I should just switch the, I should just switch the, the Mind Greed command to well, another button. Alright, well, even the Sanctum guy is worried about this town. Um, let's see, I think, is that everything? If I, if I talk to everyone yet, I don't know, but I'd like to heal. Yeah, let's just inject some money into your economy. I guess I did that when I bought all the, uh, um, the, the equipment not too long ago. Although, uh, it wouldn't really do anything, is it? It's not the, it sounds like it's not the, the money that these people need, it's the, uh, you know, the materials. But anyway, Teopo Swamp, uh, no water, no more delicious yellow mountain fish. So that sounds like a, um, a quest that's going to involve like the, the water synergy or something like that. Uh, there weren't a lot of mountain fish after the swamp dried up. We probably won't catch many. All right. Um, let's see. I came in town here. I went this out this way is where the kids were. Uh, up here. Back on the overworld. Okay. I... Probably I'm going to have to go and investigate the Teopo Swamp. Uh, that's going to have to wait for next time. For now. My name is Dragonite. This has been Golden Sun The Lost Age. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed that. I hope the recording did not get messed up in any way this time, because that's a pain when I have to go and replace footage. You should all go check out the Steam page for Wizard Ducks. I will have a link to that down in the description of this video. I hope you all enjoyed that, and I will see you all later.